The purpose of data analysis is to organize, summarize, and describe the data that has been collected and to draw conclusions or findings. Large amounts of qualitative data can be reduced to key themes or concepts, while quantitative data can be summarized statistically and used to test hypotheses or propositions. This unit is only a short introduction to a complex topic. Involving stakeholders throughout the data analysis and interpretation process is helpful both for the value of the project and the quality of the analysis. While it isn't always possible to involve your community partners in data analysis, you should make your findings accessible and understandable. Qualitative data analysis involves organizing, evaluating, and making sense of the data. This can be done by looking for patterns, identifying key themes, or comparing your data to findings from another study. Content analysis is a common approach to analyzing qualitative data. First, you read all of your interview transcripts and make notes about your observations and questions. This allows you to explore the context of your data and gain a broad understanding of your research topic. Next, you would label or code meaningful words, phrases, or sentences in the data. Let's look at an example. Here's a quote from a research participant. The community-based researcher asked the participant to talk about what would help families to take part in a research study. As you can see, we highlighted different ideas that relate to recruiting families into research, specifically advertise, in places families go, provide knowledge, provide childcare, and reimburse transportation. As you read the data, you'll likely apply the same code multiple times. You might even group codes that are similar into themes. Coding data involves going over the data many times to make sure responses don't fit into more than one category or theme. With only a handful of documents or transcripts to analyze, you can use simple software like Word to organize your analysis. But there are also dedicated software packages that are useful for qualitative analysis, such as Invivo and Atlas TI. It's worth checking if your university has a site license or you can access an inexpensive student license. Analyzing qualitative data takes a lot of time and hard work. Quantitative data needs to be summarized so that we can draw conclusions and test hypotheses. Two main types of statistics are used for this, descriptive statistics and inferential statistics. Descriptive statistics describes the data for a variable that's being investigated. This includes frequencies, distributions, and the mean, median, and mode. Descriptive statistics are often presented using charts and figures. Inferential statistics are procedures to test hypotheses and predictions. They allow researchers to make inferences about relationships between variables based on the data collected. Common procedures include t-tests, analysis of variance, the Pearson correlation coefficient, and the chi-square statistic. It's important to understand how the size of a sample and its randomness affect the choice of statistical procedure. It's also important to understand whether you have nominal, ordinal, or interval data when considering data analysis. Data can be managed using an Excel spreadsheet or a statistical program such as SPSS or R. Your school may have a license for one of these packages. A solid understanding of statistics is needed to analyze quantitative data. If you haven't taken a statistic course and are using quantitative methods, you will need to plan to acquire these skills 